least two store employees are still missing and feared trapped, perhaps even dead inside. And firemen are ripping the rubble apart, hoping that they don't find them. They were among the countless people in the Ross clothing store when the explosion erupted at about 447, ripping the store apart, blowing out the front and portions of the roof, demolishing the inside, trapping countless shoppers and employees, blowing out windows in nearby businesses in a roar that was heard miles away, leaving officials bewildered about the source of the gas. It could be gas from the gas mains bleeding off, or it could be from another source. It's undetermined. It's a mystery at this point. But tonight, firemen in special suits, dragging lifelines behind them, ventured down into the basement of the nearby Kmart. There they found even more gas bubbling up through the water on the floor, creating a 10-foot-high blanket of explosive gas. They say Kmart could go at any moment, with explosive levels being found also at spots around the intersection of 3rd and Ogden. There's no chance, they say, that these stores will be opening tomorrow, if they're even still standing by then. So this, you know, in my experience, 35, this is like as high as 77. So I've never seen a, a reading that high, mm -hmm. 64. Okay, so in the surface air, you know, so this is, yeah, this mm -hmm. is amazing. Well, right now we should get out because it yeah. does stink and okay, H2S right. is right. definitely okay. not good. Every record I've known in yeah. Boston. 